Hello Cloud9 Club vlog number three. Um, still learning vlogs. Definitely need to get a better camera eventually so we can have better quality vlogs. But this is fun. I'm glad to be here with you. Obviously, Fifi's glad to be here. Come here, baby girl. Come here, baby girl. It wouldn't be a vlog of me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do you have something to say? you have something to say? Say it louder. It wouldn't be a vlog with a, of me without the cat. So they'll definitely, definitely get their own features. But I think this vlog is just going to be kind of like a chill about me getting to know me vlog. A lot of you probably know these basic facts about me. But if you're new, it's nice to meet you. And um, this is just kind of a basic about me. I'm basic as boring basic bitch. Um, <laughs> my name is Caitlin. You can call me Kate. Katie, um, whatever you want, Katie girl. I am Katie girl from Twitch. That's what I do full time. I am a Twitch streamer. I love, I love you, Cloud Nine Club. <laughs> I love streaming. Literally, streaming saved my life. I don't know what I would do without it. It's given me family. It's given me support. It's given me connections that are unbreakable, and um, it's given me love. I don't think I had love. I was really, really lacking that that one-on-one -on -one connection and you guys gave me you guys gave me a family you guys make me whole i i don't feel like i don't know what i would do without the stream but yes i stream daily i stream i video game um i used to i started off just being a cod streamer i fell in love with video gaming through modern warfare mara oh my god love you mara love you alexandra mara ugh. if you guys were there in the beginning you remember i love mara but um, I've been venturing out recently and doing variety gaming. I've been falling in love with um, Valorant. Mainly, I think, because I love it. I have a group of friends now that I can play with. And I think playing with friends always makes it a lot more fun. So I've been enjoying that, like, a lot, a lot. And um, I've been enjoying Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is so much fun to play on wine nights. Let me tell you. Cyberpunk and then of course Genshin. Genshin is totally addicting so that's what I do in the start of the week. Um, yeah I'm late to gaming. I haven't been gaming my whole life like most of you have and that kind of sucks but at the same time it's kind of cool because everything's new to me. Everything's new and exciting. Um, yeah what got me into gaming was actually a surgery. I ended up having a full hysterectomy. It wasn't my first surgery. Um, I was diagnosed with endometriosis very late in life after suffering for very many years. They finally found out it was endometriosis through surgery. I went on from deciding not to go down that path. I will never be a mother to human children, but I am a fur mom to eight. We'll get into that later. <laughs> but yeah, um, a major surgery, a major life-changing surgery, and the recovery of that surgery brought me to Twitch. And while I was recovering, being on Twitch and video gaming kept me active and gave me a social life. And um, it really just renewed like my spirit while I was recovering from, from a really, really life-changing major surgery. So I just wanted to continue with that. And I never stopped gaming afterwards. And um, I ended up streaming myself and it was the best decision I ever made. So sometimes bad things happen for good reasons you know what i mean something bad happened but it brought me to twitch which is something good so it was all worth it in the end um i'm just very blessed about me about me simple things about me favorite color i like lavender um i like light purple the best of course i like pink i'm super girly super super girly but light purple as pastel as possible lavender lilac that's my jam that's my jam um, I prefer out uh, the seasons. I like fall the most. It's my birthday. I'm a Libra. October baby. <laughs> okay. So, the location of me, Katie girl, and Miss Phoebe. <laughs> I don't think you can see her. I don't think she's in view, but the location of the Cloud9 Club. Um, I am in Arizona, West Coast, United States. I have not traveled a lot. I think I've been to like maybe four states. I definitely want to travel. It's on my bucket list. Um, 
obviously, who wouldn't want to travel and be cultured. But I do love the warm weather, so I like living in the desert. I really, really, really hate the cold. I hate the snow. And it doesn't snow where I live. It doesn't snow where I live. I've lived here my whole life, born and raised. So, yeah, I'm a desert girl. So, growing up, I did cheer for six years. Um, I did dance for four. So, I definitely... If you see some of my pep and some of my energy, it's always been inside of me. <laughs> um, I've always been a performer. I've been in plays since I think I was a little kid. So I think I do. I do like performing, but sometimes in like group conversations, I have extreme social anxiety. And I think streaming really, really took me out of my social anxiety. It was like exposure therapy because I don't even know if I struggle with social anxiety at this point anymore. You guys really pumped up my confidence that much. I mean, I still struggle with panic, att panic attacks from time to time because I do have severe anxiety. But as far as social anxiety, I mean, I didn't have a social life for so many years. that I was definitely a shut-in and an introvert. Um, as an adult, but you guys have restored my faith in humanity, and I just, I love Twitch, and I love the Twitch community for that. Um, but yeah, I grew up doing cheer, cheer and dance, and I feel like I'm finally back to my old self, that old person, that old inner child in me that loved, to, that loved to put on a performance. I'm, I'm back to it, and it feels good, it feels good. Um, yeah, and I thank you guys for that. I mean, where would I be without you? It's kind of my theme of 2021. It's just to keep pushing myself out of my comfort zone and try new things. I want to try new things. I think I've been being s still too long. You know, Fifi? You know? We've been staying still too long. We need some growth. We need some personal growth. So this year is about personal growth. And this year is about the Cloud9 Club and in the stream and just thank you guys for being along and being a part of my journey so as most of you know i take care of eight cats but there are two specific special cats that are all mine two cats that sleep with me at night two cats that share their lives with me two cats that go everywhere that i go that would be miss fiona and then here my first my oldest got him as a kitten, Milo, a.k.a. Baby. He is, oh my goodness, he is going to be eight in June. I can't believe I've had you eight years. <laughs> he's my little muffin man, always there to make my muffins. He's he's a, basically always sleeping on the cat cloud, too. He's on the bed and he'll today. He's bougie. But yes, I have two cats. This is Milo. What you doing, baby boy? Milo. You getting all situated, postured, ready to stream? Yeah? What are you going to play today? Feeling some Valorant? Got to make sure you're primed. Nice and pretty and clean first, yeah. Give yourself a nice manicure. <laughs> You're such a handsome boy. I love my baby. This is Miss Fiona. <laughs> yeah. Fifi. The Supreme. Ma Fiona. I love you very much. Ma Fiona. She is almost two years old. She'll be two years old March 30th of this year. She was born in this house. I met her when she was in the womb. And we've been attached ever since. <laughs> I do nothing without her. I go to sleep with her. I wake up with her. I can't even go to the bathroom alone. We do everything together.
Mafiona. <laughs> What are you doing, Phoebe? Yeah? <laughs> Hi, Phoebe. You have something to say? What do you have to say, Fiona? Oh, is that all? Belly rubs? She's basically screaming unless I'm giving her belly rubs. So she's either sleeping on my lap Getting belly rubs or screaming at me. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks for your input, Fiona. Okay, Cloud9 Club. Um, another random fun fact about me, other than collecting plushies and cats, I collect cups. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm a huge cup collector, so I'll show you a few of my favorites. Um... Out of my Starbucks cups, this is my absolute favorite. The pink matte studded cup, absolutely favorite. And then second for Starbucks cups, probably would be these two big amines. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they gorgeous? I definitely look for new cup releases. Um, I was first in line. First in line to get all of the color changing cups both summers in a row. It's tradition for me every Christmas to go and get the red cup on red cup day. There's only one day out of the year that, where they release their yearly red cup. And then I have my custom cups. I'm sure you guys have seen most of these. Unicorn off duty. And then I have um, my new one. Oh, I forgot to get it. So this is my newest custom cup and my absolute favorite of my whole collection. Tati got it for me, so it is matching. Mine says Katie Girl on the bottom. My first cup that actually says Katie Girl. It is gorgeous. And since we're matching, you know, it makes it even better. And then I told you guys about my American Horror Story obsession. So let me show you guys a few of these wine glasses real quick. These are all just teacups. Oh, they have puns on them though. Celebrity, beauty, sleep. You guys know I love a good pun. <laughs> Here are my American Horror Story collection. Wine glasses, all right, all right. American Horror Story, the original, Murder House. American Horror Story, Fiona Good, the original Supreme. And the Countess of Hotel Lady Gaga. <laughs> and then I have one other special wine glass that I want to show you because it's relevant to Cloud Nine Club. On Cloud Wine. Perfect. All right, Cloud Nine Club. I've honestly had a, a lot of trouble this week trying to think of things to film that are just about me because I think I'm kind of boring. But um, I guess if we're just going to go into small little details and facts about me, um, hobbies. I enjoy games outside of video gaming. Um, I love any games, really. I love board games. I love darts. I love bowling. I love golfing. And I'm not good at any of it, but um, I have a lot of fun with it. I have a lot of fun. I love it, any type of party games. So... Yeah, I love that. And then I also am a huge Netflix binger who doesn't who doesn't binge Netflix. My biggest Netflix binge of all time was absolutely um, American Horror Story. I am a horror fanatic. I've seen every episode at least four times. Obsessed, obsessed with the series. But um, yeah, I definitely love a good Netflix binge, especially with the cats all cuddled up with me. Maybe even a good glass of wine. Is wine a hobby? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I also love to do anything that is creating. I love to create. Um, I sometimes paint rocks. 
do little rock paintings. People in my city hide them all around the city. So people that are out and about doing just their daily errands might just find a cute little rock with a message or a cute little image just, you know, sitting in a normal spot and it might just make them smile. I don't know. It's fun. I like to create. I like to create something pretty out of something ugly, kind of. I also color in an adult coloring book. I am a huge adult child. We all know this. But yes, I love to color. I also like to cook and bake, even though I'm not good at it. But um, I just recently started teaching myself how to cook and bake a couple years ago, just based off of Google and Pinterest. But um, I, I like to do anything that is of creating. creating. Um, I like to play around with makeup, different hairstyles. I love to self-pamper, you know, a good bubble bath, a good face mask. <laughs> Self-love, self-care. would probably be bucket list. My bucket list I feel like is huge and I feel like it's oh, I'm always adding to it but hopefully we have time. Hopefully we have time. Traveling would definitely be number one. I would love to eat authentic food, authentic Italian food, authentic Japanese food. I would love, oh my god, could you imagine going to a winery? Like <laughs> I've never had any sort of wine tasting let alone drink at an actual vineyard or like visit the Eiffel Tower that would be so beautiful and romantic and I've only seen the Aurora lights on on in pictures or in video but uh, it, it's like what dreams are made out of another thing speaking of Aurora lights in the sky I, I have been skydiving so I've checked that off and I loved it I would go again but I've never been in a hot air balloon. And oh my God, how beautiful would it be to just be floating through the clouds? Oh, so dreamy, so dreamy. So I would absolutely love to do that. I would love to go to TwitchCon and meet all of you. That would be absolutely amazing. I couldn't even imagine. That would be, that would be life changing. <laughs> you guys have been life changing, so doing something like TwitchCon would be absolutely amazing. I definitely think that I want to show you guys kind of where my desk and my setup started. Just take you through a quick, um, you know, started from the bottom. Now we're here, but there's, I feel like there's always more to grow. There's always mo more to grow, always more that you need for streaming to get the quality better, better content. But um, I've come a long way. I've come a long way. I'm just very thankful. But it's been a beautiful ride. I'm so thankful I've gotten into gaming.